so I'm headed to the uh, store to get some essential oils for making my candle. I don't know what flavor to make. I have, I'm gonna make two candles, a citronella candle, and so I have the citronella at home. The other one I need, I don't know what I'm gonna make, so we'll, we'll see. But I'm going to like an herbal kind of all natural store because I figure they're gonna have a pretty good selection of essential oils. Just wanted to let you know what's happening, you know? Just wanted to some wood here for other projects I'm doing because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm a project based individual. 95% of my life is uh, thinking or producing projects. Mostly thinking. Like 1% is producing. Other percentages will be revealed as needed. We don't need to get into all the percentages of my life. I guess I already dedicated 95% to thinking about projects, so that really only leaves 4% because there's 1% of doing projects. So 4% of my life is really divided amongst a lot of things, like all other aspects of life. I probably have these percents wrong. There's no pie graph. I'm just throwing things out there. And uh, in retrospect, they're probably wrong. These are probably wrong numbers. Okay, so, as some of you may remember, I made a fail video, I don't know if it was a fail, for some tapered beeswax candles. So I don't know if it was a fail because they do work. They are candles. But I wanted to redeem myself a little bit. I have the beeswax left over. Put it into the crock pot. And I'm going to make scented beeswax candles. Or, uh, 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 yeah. I went to the store, I got two scents. I got peppermint, lime, and a while back I bought citronella because I wanted to make an outdoor candle for a little tiny bottle of citronella there for when it gets warmer. Wearing the flannel, ready to go. I saved a pickle jar to put a candle in and I had an old mason jar, kind of the short stout kind that I'm gonna do. One of the things we gotta do is we have to put a hole in the tops of these to dangle the wick down. I just went and got these two little uh, nuts yeah. And we tie them to the end of the wick to weigh it down in the jar. Let's see how it goes. So while I'm waiting for the crock pot to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and put those holes in. I'm going to use a nail and a hammer. And my eye, some people would like to like exit out to make sure they have the dead center. A lot of these tops, I don't know if you can see, they sort of have concentric rings, so it makes it real easy to get at least pretty close to the center. I'm gonna just use that to eye it, you know? Eyeball it. The reason, once again, I'm doing this is so I can run, I'm a little bit off, but well, who cares? So I can run a wick down and keep it centered. The wick I'm using is from a uh, leftover wick from my last video where I made candles. Uh, you could check that out maybe in the link below. I, I don't know how all that works. The way I made this wick was I just dipped string into melted wax. Once again, I don't know if that's the best way to do things. I'm going to fasten it here. Roll it around the, the nut that I have to weigh it down once again. Drop it into here. So that weighs it down when I pour in the wax and put this through there. Sort of just uh, put a knot in it at the top as well, so then it doesn't fall through. Sure. Oh, I want to make sure that it's straight up and down as close as can be. Oh my gosh. My brother Matt is not here today, that's why there's a fixed camera. Just old John gabbing on about making candles that you don't know how to make. If you're wondering, is this the actual way to make candles? Once again, I don't know. I didn't really research it. Hopefully they come out better than the tapered candles, but I just don't know. There's no way to, there's no way to know. I know that we want to get the temperature of the wax up to 160 because that's the temperature between 160 and 165 is the temperature where it takes uh, scents and it holds them. If you go to 185, it will destroy the wax and I guess ruin it. But I'm going to go ahead and try uh, put the scent into the, the jar first and then pour the wax in when it's at 160 and then use these popsicle sticks to stir it all around. The first one I'm going to make is my mojito one and it is lime and mint. I'm going to do 13 drops of each. 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we're going to do the mint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Over here, we're going to do a citronella candle. And we're going to do 26 drops of this. Okay. I'm using this thermometer to check the temperatures. 148, 149, 151. It's getting cooler. Why is it getting cooler? So on this side of the pot, it is it's warmer than this side of the pot. So I'm stirring it around. I'm going to put it into a secondary vessel here. Ah! I lost my popsicle stick. Luckily I have another. All right, it's at 165 now. So I'm going to take some out. Put it into here and let it cool down a little bit. It's getting too hot. So at 165.7, let it cool for a little bit. We're stuck around 151. Let's try a little trick here. Okay, here we go. I don't know. The process is all about temperatures, it seems. <laughs> well, that one doesn't seem to be a full candle, but it's gonna be as much as it is, because that's how much wax I have. All right, now we just let them cool and check back in and see how they smell. This guy seems to be firming up pretty well. Candle making 2.0. Okay everyone, it's the bedside table test. We're gonna check out this candle. This is the mint one. We're gonna light it up, see how it smells. Ah, burn myself. Yeah, it has a really minty smell. The lime kind of gets lost a little bit. Worked. We did good. We finally did good. If you want to see us do something else, uh, leave it in the messages below. And remember to like this video uh, and, and subscribe and hit the, all the buttons below and on the side. And any button you see. You see a button, hit that button. <laughs> hit, hit whatever buttons you want to hit. Oh yeah, we're the Jackson. No trade and uh, this is our, our channel.